Okay, if we want to play around with the effects, um, the pre-process means that uh, the, the, the effect is added to the slide before the uh, slide is actually added to the slideshow, whereas the, the post-process is, uh, is added after the slideshow has been assembled to the entire video file. So um, here we can we can add uh, like a film look. Maybe that isn't too visible, but it's yeah adding some saturation to the to the slides. We'll just add something which is a bit more like Polaroid. Yeah, you can see that that's definitely changing the. Um, the look. Um, and here in the post process, we can add stuff to the um, entire slideshow. Um, what would be fun? What would be fun? So you can see there's an effect added, and yeah, you can just play around with it. It's it's kind of fun. Um, there are plenty. Well, for now, I will not select any of those. We'll just OK that. So now we want to export our slideshow. Um, you can use that button or you can use the various functions up here. If you use the export slideshow, there are plenty of formats you can export to. Um, various uh, MGP formats and uh, uh, ISO ready to burn, author DVD, DVD folders, which is yeah, the same as the ISO, but not in a, in a sort of zip format. Um, and here you can add the separated video, audio, subtitles, and chapter points. Um, you can export to uh, Flash, or GUI for DVD author is the program uh, DVD slideshow GUI is talking to when uh, you want to author DVDs with menus. Um, the normal DVDs, those exported here, are without menus. And you can uh, uh, export chapter points and subtitles in various formats, uh, and also a batch of images. Uh, and finally, a storyboard function where um, yeah, uh, the subtitles will be added as uh, descriptions in a storyboard kind of looking format. Um, but for now, we will just do the fast and easy burn to disk function. Uh, so we just click that, and uh, here um, it's asking, do we want to add backups of the original photos and videos? And what it does is uh, to add another folder onto the DVD disk. Sorry, um, uh, with the original material. So. Um, uh, you can watch the DVD on a normal, normal standalone DVD player and also have the backups uh, of the original material to be accessed on a computer. So we'll just do that. And um, now it's rendering. This is the audio and this is the video. We can just have this one so we can see what is going on. So now it's rendering. It's Two pauses. See your subtitles down there. I see the various random <coughs> um, transitions. And now this is the authoring going on. And this is where all the the 
various programs which does all the hard work becomes visible. Now um, there's no disk, uh, so I will have to add a, add a disk. Um, Well, um, when you add a disk, uh, this thing will become a button and you can click it and you will burn your DVD. And um, when your DVD is burned, you can hopefully use it in your standalone player and you will have a nice looking uh, a DVD slideshow. Uh, and that sort of concludes this tutorial. Um, yeah, I hope it all makes sense and uh, good luck. Thank you very much.